Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.38 Considering happiness and distress, gain and loss, and victory and defeat to be equal, you should prepare to fight. In this way, you will not incur any sin. Sarardavashini Shri Krishna says, O Arjuna, fighting is your only duty. You doubt this and think that by fighting you will incur sin, but you should accept my instructions and fight. By doing so, you will not incur sinful reaction. Through victory or defeat, you will either gain a kingdom or lose one, and as a consequence, you will experience either happiness or distress. Therefore, O Arjuna, deliberate on this with proper wisdom and fight, knowing victory and defeat to be equal. You will not incur sin as long as you are endowed with this quality of equanimity. This subject is also described later in the Gita 5.10. Just as a lotus leaf remains in water but never becomes wet, similarly, though engaged in battle, you will not incur sin. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti In the Gita 1.36 Arjuna is thinking, I will incur sin by killing them. In speaking this verse, Sri Krishna is refuting Arjuna's argument as baseless. Sri Krishna is saying, There is a possibility of incurring sin by killing one's relatives in battle, when the battle is fought with attachment to one's happiness and distress. I am explaining to you the means by which you can become free from sin. Sin will not touch you if you perform your duty of fighting as per my instructions, considering happiness, distress, gain, loss, victory and defeat as equal. One becomes sinful or bound by action, karma, if he is attached to the fruits of his action. Therefore, it is certainly necessary to renounce attachment to action. This conclusion has been established in the Gita 5.10. Brahmani Adaya Karmani Sangam Jyaktva Karoti Yaha Brahmani Adaya Karmani Sangam Jyaktva Karoti yaha Lipnyate na sa Papena Padma Patram Ivam Basya. Those who give up all attachments to work and surrender all the results of their work unto me, the Supreme Controller, do not become affected by sin, just as a lotus leaf remains untouched by water.